Alright, hey guys, it's uh, kind of a shame I haven't made a video of my new truck yet. Uh, my last video I showed how to change the wheel bearings and stuff on a Ford Ranger, but failed to actually properly introduce this as my new truck. So, a little bit of backstory my uh, 01 Dakota, I traded that for this. It's a 2003 Ford Ranger. Now, originally when I got it, it was mostly stock. It was stock suspension, had uh, aftermarket rims with 235 75 tires on it. So they were a crap ton bigger than what's on it now. Uh, really the only thing aftermarket was the rims and tires. It had tinted windows and aftermarket headlights. Other than that, everything else was factory on this thing. So, so far I've uh, obviously lowered it. Uh, it has three inch drop springs in the front and an actual flip kit in the back. I just ordered uh, DJM upper and lower control arms for the front. So that should take care of uh, drivability issues because right now I'm basically running bump stops. and. I'd rather not be doing that. <laughs> um, let's see. Well, light bar, that's a given. I plan on uh, actually probably, if I can get lucky at a junkyard, sw swapping this like front grill and bumper to the newer style Ranger, like 2010 front end. I like those grills better than the 2003. Uh, this is actually a reconstructed title because if you notice that fender says Ranger XLT, but if I go on to the other side, it says just Ranger. This is actually a base model Ranger. It was in a small fender bender, so I believe it was the hood, grill, and this fender over here was replaced. It's, it's whatever, it's just a badge. Another thing I did was, of course, side pipe exhaust. It had a uh, factory exhaust and if anyone has ever followed my channel, they know I hate factory quiet exhaust. As far as the setup for that, it is... I cut out the muffler and it's just manifold to the Kevin converter, stock resonator, and a 45 out to this here tip. I left the resonator in and that actually gets rid of a decent amount of the drone. It's still decently loud and nice and poppy the way I like it, but not ridiculous. And I pass inspection because technically the resonator can classifies a muffler. It identifies as a muffler, I guess. Uh, tailgate, I think, is from a newer Ranger as well, because it has the newer style emblem, as well as the taillights. I'm not sure if maybe the bed was replaced as well. Maybe it got rear-ended and hit someone. Maybe, you know, traffic stop. I don't know. But that doesn't really matter to me, because, I mean, it all matches, and I like these taillights better. The uh, headache rack here, that was another thing I got. I got that for free from a friend. It was originally red. I just spray bombed it black and added uh, LED like bar and pods. Uh, the pods aren't wired up yet. They will be soon. I just have to find the time to do it. The rear one is, so if anyone's tailgating me or something, I can uh, blend them. It's got a toolbox bed and it's mounted in there, folded right through to the bed. So got that going on. Also when I put on this headache rack that you can see it has like angle iron that goes all the way to the back. This uh, bed line originally was one of those that has the plastic that goes over the side of the bed and uh, the kid before me well, I guess wasn't too smart because he used self tappers to screw it down and that kind of pissed me off but yeah I guess it is what it is. So I cut the top off of it you know hacksaw it so now I have the plastic bed liner tucked under the lip of the bed, which I think looks a lot cleaner that way. Don't mind all the crap in the bed. Uh, like I said, this is definitely a work in progress right now. And I also need a tailgate handle. <laughs> this rim obviously doesn't match. I'm kind of in between sets of rims because the tires that came on it, like I said, were too big, being 235, 75. But I love the rims. They're like knockoff uh, American Racing uh, D hole, whatever you call them, rims. So I want to keep those, but I just need some lower profile tires for it. So I'm on the lookout for that, and these are just kind of like my for now rims. If anyone remembers when I had my 86 Ranger that was lowered, I had these Mustang rims on that as well. So these have actually been sitting in my barn for the past seven years. The tires aren't in the best condition, but they'll do for now. Just as some, you know, for now, set of rims. But, yeah. 
other than that, I think that's about it. As far as on the inside, there's nothing really going on in there. I put in a aftermarket head unit and a slim sub box behind the passenger seat, so that way I can still have my seat all the way back. Other than that, the interior is basically stuck. I plan on uh, putting Explorer buckets in it. I have an Explorer Center console I want to put in because the seats that are now are the base vinyl seats and those suck. They're very uncomfortable, the seats are tearing. You know, there's no armrest. It's just driving me nuts. Right. And this truck is also a 2.3 liter four cylinder, five speed. I had to have a stick shift. I was so tired of automatic with my Dakota. I loved having a V8, but not the gas mileage. So I got what I wanted. And hopefully the kid that traded me for it is enjoying the Dakota. If you want something bigger, I want something smaller. And I'm probably make another update video when I install the DJM upper and lower control arms. That should actually drop the front end another two inches. So then the front will kind of level out and it won't be rear braked the way it is right now. Because I hate the tail dragger style. Also, when you lower, I uh, had to cut down the mud flaps a good bit. I think I might start to use this plastic here. I cut about that much off of it. That's where I cut off of it. As you can see, the bottom was uh, rubbing a good bit. The first, the night that I lowered it, I drove it home like that, and that's all you could hear was just the mud flaps rubbing. But you know, that's the lowered life, and if you want to keep the mud flaps for a low car, you got to cut them down. Unless you like hearing constantly scraping. I don't think I'm going to go any lower after I get the upper and lower control arms. I might eventually get a bolt-in C-notch for the rear, just because right now it's probably an inch or half an inch away from the factory bump stops. I, I cut them in half, so there's still a little bit more room. Maybe I'll just get the pancake, DJM pancake style bump stops and then I won't have to do anything. Mustang. Not hitting crowds, I hope. Uh, once the control arm's in, I might have to get a uh, one of the raised cross members for the transmission and obviously do something about the exhaust because that's not that high right now. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So I guess, you know, let me know what you think in the comments. And I'm going to update again when I get those DJM upper motor control arms installed. Until then.